Good afternoon, Year 7. I hope you are well. Welcome to Thursday's lesson. We only have today and tomorrow left until we return to the classroom. So let's end remote learning really strongly and get five out of five submissions this week. Today, we are going to continue reading A Midsummer's Night's Dream. So could you pause the video now and copy down the title, date and learning objective? Press play when you have those three things written down, please. OK, if you're back, that means you're ready to complete the do now task. Can you please answer the following questions in full sentences, please? What does Oberon ask Puck to do? Who does Oberon use the potion on? What is Hermia's father's name? Who does Hermia's father want her to marry? And why are Titania and Oberon arguing? Pause the video and complete those five questions now, please. OK, if you're back, that means that you have completed the do now and you're ready to make your purple pen corrections. As always, give it a tick if you got it right. And if you got it wrong, that's all right. Just give it a cross and correct your answer. So Oberon asked Puck to find Helena. Oberon uses the potion on Demetrius. Hermia's father is called Aegeus. Hermia's father wants her to marry Demetrius. And Titania and Oberon are arguing over an Indian prince and over being unfaithful. Remember, Titania accuses Oberon of being unfaithful with um, Hippolyta and Oberon accuses Titania of being unfaithful with Theseus. Pause the video and make any purple pen corrections that you need to now, please. OK, if you're back, that means we're ready to move on. And this is a summary of Act 3, Scene 2. So let's read this so we can understand what's going to happen throughout the rest of the lesson. So Lysander and Helena enter the scene and they're still bickering because Helena thinks he is mocking her as Lysander is claiming that he is in love with Helena. Their voices wake Demetrius, who falls in love with Helena at first sight. Remember, Oberon squeezed the juice on Demetrius. Hearing what she believes are Demetrius' phony, which means fake, declarations of love, Helena is furious, because both Lysander and Demetrius are now making fun of her. When Hermia enters, the situation gets even worse. Not knowing about the potion-induced change in Lysander's feelings for her, Hermia is shocked when he declares he no longer loves her and the two women argue. Hermia believes that because Lysander loves Helena, that Helena has to have something to do with it, because her beloved Lysander wouldn't just fall out of love with her. After the lovers have all four and they fled the scene, Oberon forces Puck to fix the problem before the men kill each other. He advises Puck to create a deep fog in which the lovers will get lost and finally fall asleep in exhaustion. When they awake in the morning, the night's crazy events will seem like a dream, except that Demetrius will be in love with Helena. So Oberon and Puck are going to try and undo the mistakes and restore order. So at this point, I think it's really important that we clarify who loves who, because it's changed quite a lot since the beginning of the play. So Helena is now loved by Lysander and Demetrius because of the love potion. Lysander is still loved by Hermia. Demetrius is still loved by Helena. However, she seems to be a little bit angry with him. And Hermia is loved by no one at this point. OK, let's see how the action unfolds. Today, we're going to continue doing a quotation hunt. I think we need a little bit more practice for identifying quotes. So what I would like you to do is copy this table. Make sure that you give yourself enough room. Please don't squeeze this table into a small section of your page. I think that you need about half a clean page for this table. So pause, copy the table exactly as it appears on screen into your book now, please. OK, if you're back, that means you have copied this table down and we are ready to read. 
as we read, I'm going to let you know when you need to fill in the table. So a reminder that the black side is from the original text and that's the side that we quote from. And the red side is just a translation that we use to help us understand. So this is when Lysander and Helena enter the woods and Helena is confused as to why Lysander says that he loves her. Let's read this section. Lysander says, why should you think that I, would, I should woo in scorn? Scorn and derision never come in tears. Look, when I vow, I weep. And vow so born in their nativity, all the truth appears. How can these things in me seem scorn to you, bearing the badge of faith to prove them true? Lysander asks, why do you think I'm making fun of you when I tell you I love you? So scorn, meaning making fun of, and woo, meaning telling someone that you love them. People don't cry when they're mocking someone. So Lysander is crying because he loves Helena so much. He says, look, when I swear that I love you, I cry. And when someone cries while he's making a promise, he's usually telling the truth. And then finally, he says, how can it seem like I'm making fun of you when my, my tears prove that I'm sincere? And he uses the phrase bearing the badge of faith um, to reference his tears and true meaning sincere. Helena says, you do advance your cunning more and more. She says, you're getting trickier and trickier, meaning cunning. When truth kills truth, oh devilish holy fray, these vows are Hermia's. Will you give her over? Weigh oath with oath and you will nothing weigh. She says, you've made the same promises to me and to Termia. They can't both be true. They must both be false. The promises you're making to me belong to Hermia. Will you abandon her? Will you give her over? Meaning, will you abandon her? And then she says, if you weighed the promises you made to me against the promises you made to her, they'd come out the same. So she says, your vows to her and me put in two scales will even weigh and both as light as tails. She says that they would come out the same because they both weigh nothing. They are lies. They are as light as tails. Lysander says, I had no judgment when to her I swore. Lysander says, I wasn't thinking clearly when I made those promises to her. He says that he wasn't thinking clearly when he said that he loved Hermia. Okay, so the, the event that we're going to look at from your table is that Helena is angry that Lysander, sa Lysander says he loves Helena and Hermia. And we're going to complete this one together. So grab your pen. And let's fill this in. So I need to find a quote that shows that Helena is angry because Lysander says that he loves Helena and Hermia. OK, so I'm going to look at the red side first because that's the translation. So that's going to help me understand a little bit more. Um, so I'm going to say... I'm going to look at this bit here. You get trickier and trickier. You've made the same promises to me and to Hermia. They can't both be true. They must both be false. The promises you are making me belong to Hermia. So I'm going to use this quote here. And now I need to find it in this version. And I can see that it is this one here. These vowels are Hermia's. Now I'm going to write that into the table. So I need to use my quotation marks and I'm going to write that quote here. These vowels are Hermia's and then make sure I have my quotation mark at the end. OK, I've done that one for you. So pause the video and copy this quotation into your table now, please. OK, if you're back, that means you have this quote written in your table and we are ready to move on to the next one. So Lysander begins by saying Demetrius loves her and he loves not you. So the men are arguing at this point. Um, sorry, Lysander is arguing about the fact that he loves Lysander more and then Demetrius wakes up. 
So Lysander says that Demetrius loves Hermia and he doesn't love you. So Lysander is trying to win Helena over by saying, forget about Demetrius. He doesn't even love you, but I do. At this point, Demetrius wakes up with the love potion in his eyes. And he says, oh, Helena, goddess, nymph, perfect, divine. He says, oh, Helena, you're a goddess, you're divine, you're a perfect nymph, which means that she's like a perfect fairy. He says, to what, my love, shall I compare thine eyne? Crystal is muddy. Oh, how ripe in show thy lips, those kissing cherries tempting grow. He says, what can I compare your eyes to? Crystal isn't as clear as they are. He compares her eyes to crystals. And he says that they're even better than crystals because crystals are muddy. He says, oh, your lips are as ripe as a pair of tempting cherries touching each other. He compares her lips to cherries. He then says that pure congealed white high Taurus snow fanned with the eastern wind turned to a crow when thou holdst up thy hand. Demetrius says the pure white of the snow on a mountain top seems black as a crow's wing next to the whiteness of your hands. So he's comparing her beautiful porcelain skin as snow and even better than snow her hands are so beautiful and pale and white and bright that it makes the snow on the mountain top seem dark demetrius then says oh let me kiss this princess of pure white this seal of bliss he says oh let me kiss your beautiful white hand it will make me so happy bliss meaning happy here okay so the event from your table for this extract is that Demetrius wakes up and falls in love with Helena instantly. Think about the word instantly. What does he wake up and say straight away? That's your quote. Pause the video and find the quote and write it down in your table now, please. Okay, if you're back, that means you've chosen your quote. Let's move on. Um, so this is when Hermia arrives and things get a little bit messy between the four lovers. This is the first time that all four of them have been together at the same time and it causes a lot of chaos. Lysander says, Lysander's love that would not let him bide, fair Helena, who more engulfed the night than all yon fiery o's and eyes of light. So Lysander says that I had to hurry to my love, beautiful Helena, fair, meaning beautiful here, who lights up the night better than all those fiery stars. So he calls the stars eyes of light. He then continues, why seekest thou me? Could not this make thee know the hate I bear thee made me love thee so? He says, why are you looking for me to Hermia? Seekest, meaning looking. Didn't you figure out that I left you because I hate you? Hermia says, you speak not as you think, it cannot be. Hermia is in absolute shock. She says, you can't mean what you're saying, it's impossible. Now Helena jumps in and says, lo, she is one of this confederacy. She says, so she's in on this too. They, Helena thinks that Hermia Lysander... And Demetrius have all banded together to make fun of her. Helena says, now I perceive they have conjoined all three to fashion this false sport in spite of me. She says, now I see that all three of them have gotten together, conjoined to play this cruel trick on me. To fashion this false sport, cruel trick. Helena says, injurious Hermia, most ungrateful maid. She says, hurtful Hermia, you ungrateful girl. She says, she asks, have you conspired? Have you with these contrived to bait me with this false derision? She asks Hermia, have you conspired with these two to provoke me with this horrible teasing? Horrible teasing, foul derision. Helena says, is all the counsel that we two have shared, the sisters' vows, the hours that we have spent when we have chide the ha hasty-footed time for parting us? Oh, is it all forgot? She says to Hermia, have you forgotten all the talks we'd have together? Talks meaning counsel. The vows we made to be like sisters to one another. 
All the hours we've spent together wishing that we never had to say goodbye. Have you forgotten? Helena is questioning Hermia's friendship here. So the event that we are looking at here is Helena believes that Hermia is involved in playing tricks with the men. So you need to find a quote that where Helena says that Hermia is involved with the three men in playing tricks on her. Pause the video, find the quote and write it down, please. OK, if you're back, that means you've got your quote written in your table. Let's move on. So now Demetrius and Lysander are arguing over Helena. Before they were arguing over Hermia, and now they're arguing over Helena. Demetrius says, if she cannot entreat, I can compel. He speaks directly to Lysander here and says, if Hermia's begging can't make you stop insulting Helena, I can force you to do so. So Hermia is begging Lysander, stop saying that you love Helena, it's horrible, and you love me. But Lysander isn't listening, so Demetrius steps in. Lysander says, thou canst compel no more than she entreat. You can't force me any more than Hermia can beg me. So force, meaning compel, and begging, meaning entreat. Lysander says, thy threats have no more strength than her weak prayers. Helena, I love thee. By my life, I do. Lysander says, your threats are no stronger than her whining. And he turns to Helena and says, I love you. I swear that I do. He says, I swear by that which I will lose for thee to prove him false that says I love thee not. He says that I'll give my life for you just to prove that Demetrius is wrong when he says that I don't love you. Demetrius says, I say I love thee more than he can do. He says to Helena, I can love you more than he does. Listen to me. Lysander says, if thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. He said, if that's what you've got to say, go fight a duel with me and prove it. Withdraw, meaning withdraw your swords and fight. Demetrius says, quick, come. He says, come on then, let's go. You're on. Let's fight. So this is the event we're looking at. Lysander and Demetrius plan to fight over Helena. You need to find a quote that shows that this has taken place. Pause the video, find the quote and write it down, please. OK, if you're back, that means you've got your quote written down. Let's move on. So now this is where Lysander gets incredibly frustrated with Hermia. Hermia is following Lysander, saying that she loves him and that he needs to love her. And this kind of sounds similar to when Helena was following Demetrius and Demetrius getting angry. This is the exact same thing, but with a different pair of characters. Directly to Hermia, Lysander says, hang off thou cat, thou burr, vile thing, let loose or I will shake thee from me like a serpent. He says, stop hanging on me, you cat, you thorn, let go of me or I'll shake you off like a snake. Hermia is shocked, she goes, why are you grown so rude? What change is this, sweet love? She says, why have you gotten so rude? What's happened to you, my darling? My darling, meaning sweet love. Lysander says, thy love, out, tawny tartar, out, out, loaf medicine, oh, hated potion, hence. Lysander says, your darling, get out, you dark-skinned gypsy, get out, you horrible poison, get out. Now, this reference here um, towards a gypsy um, would be not very shocking at the time of the text when it was written. Um, but now we kind of find these racial remarks quite um, disgusting. And um, it's something that happens when a text is written. It's written in a different time in Athens, in a different environment. Um, and now things are very, very different. So the way we understand a text is also different. Hermia is absolutely insulted and say, do you not jest? She goes, are you joking? Jest meaning to joke. So this is the event. Hermia is hurt that Lysander no longer loves her. Pause the video, find the quote, write it down and then press play. OK, so you should have your quote written in here. Let's move on. 
So now Helena and Hermia are arguing. Now, there's a lot of arguments. There's a lot going on. Helena says, fine, I faith. Have you no modesty, no maiden shame, no touch of bashfulness? What, will you tear impatient answers from my gentle tongue? Fie, fie, you counterfeit, you puppet, you. Sarcastically, she goes, oh, that's very nice. She says that Hermia ought to be ashamed of herself. You're going to make me mad enough to answer you. Damn, you faker, you puppet. Helena still believes that Hermia is involved in all of this trickery. Helena, Hermia is shocked because she hasn't done anything and she's as confused as Helena is. Hermia says, puppet? Why so? Hey, that way goes the game. Now I perceive that she hath made compare between our statures. She says, puppet? Why are you calling me a puppet? She says, oh, I see where this is going. She's talking about our difference in height. Talking about our difference in statures. She have urged her height, and with her personage, her tall personage, her height, forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. Hermia says she's paraded in front of him to show off how tall she is. Urged her height, meaning parading her height. She won him over with her height. Then Hermia says, and are you grown so high in esteem because I am so dwarfish and so low? How low am I, thou painted maypole? Speak, how low am I? I am not yet so low, but that my nails can reach unto thine eyes. She says to her, Helena, does he have such a high opinion of you because I'm so sure? Is that it? So how sure am I, you painted barber pole? Very rude. He com- She compares Helena to a pole. She says, tell me, speak, very demanding. She's obviously incredibly angry. How short am I? I'm not too short to gouge your eyes out with my fingernails. Uh Uh-oh. Are the women going to fight? There's a lot of fighting going on. So the event here is Hermia believes that Helena has attempted to win Lysander over. So how does Hermia believe Helena has won Lysander over? Pause the video, find the quote, and write it down, please. Okay, if you're back, that means you've got the quote written in here. And now we are ready to make our correction. So grab your purple pen and let's tick our answers if you've got them right. You might have chosen a slightly different quote to the one that I have written down, but I recommend that you would write the purple pen correction anyway. So we know, number one, these vows are Hermia's. We did that together. Number two, oh, Helena, goddess, nymph, perfect, divine. Um, Number three, lo, she is one of this confederacy. Number four, if thou say so, withdraw and prove it too. Number five, why are you grown so rude? What change is this, sweet love? And the final one, her height, forsooth, she hath prevailed with him. So if you haven't got all of these quotes written down, can you make sure that you add any that you are missing in purple pen now, please? Pause the video and make your purple pen corrections. Okay, if you're back, that means that you are ready to submit your learning for today. I forgot to add the final slide. Um, Please make sure that you write the subject of the email with the date. Send it to my email and do not upload it on Show My Homework, please. I look forward to seeing all of your excellent completed quotation hunts this afternoon. Well done, and I will speak to you in tomorrow's video lesson.